So I wanted to make it so that all websites um, could get involved in this. So we made it as easy as we possibly could. There's only one line of JavaScript to be added to the site. So the message is really simple. Whatever revenue streams you have today, don't change anything. You, you make all the money you've always made. Just add this one extra line of JavaScript. And if there's a server nearby, and that's all that checks is, is there a server nearby, then, then the game pop-ups will appear and they'll get the opportunity to play. To make it possible, we need to be able to to virtualize the games and get as many games running per server as possible. That's how I can keep the costs as low as, uh, as, low as we're managing to do. And OnLive has managed to get two games running per server. Um, we are now sitting at 14. This, is a, this was a screenshot when we just hit 12. And we were very proud of 12, but we just got to 14. So this is, so we can get 14 World of Warcrafts running per server, or we can do 10 in full HD. And, um, and that's, that's only possible because we've custom built those servers. They're, 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 we worked with all kinds of different companies to, to design this kind of perfect configuration. And that's one of the reasons that Intel has invested into our company, uh, partially as well because we're buying so many freaking Intel chips. These things are expensive. Um, we have, we're using uh, the very latest uh, six core processors and the, the latest NVIDIA uh, 400 series cards. We also have solid state drives, but we raid them together so that they, they run even faster than normal, normal solid state. So we want people to kind of experience your game the, like in a, in a premium way. To some extent, I think that's actually going to sell, help sell hardware. When people realize, God, my machine's getting a bit old, isn't it? When, when, they, when they see what they could be owning. Um, to the point where I, I spoke to someone at, at NVIDIA and they pretty much slapped their head when they thought about it, was you can now let someone experience new hardware on their old hardware. So I'm sitting there at home with my three, four, five-year-old um, desktop, and they can let me experience, if I was to pop a new NVIDIA card in here, this is actually how this machine would look. And it gives them a little taste of, the, of, of, of what an upgrade would feel like. So the third key part of this is driving people to buy. That's the one thing we care about the most, right? So this is the idea of letting them, um, let, you know, driving them straight into this uh, purchase page. But we also, we had, in our testing, we had a problem. Um, when people went full screen on the game, they couldn't remember. Again, it's the mass market. They can't remember what they pressed. You know, press F6 to go full screen. They forget F6 immediately, and they're stuck in full screen, and they don't know how to get out. So they literally turn their computer off and on, and that's what we were seeing. And, uh, and so we realized, oh my god, we've got to make this easier. So we put a taskbar along the top of the game where you can just click a button to go full screen on any, on any game. And, um, and you can mute, so in case your phone rings, you can just turn the audio off immediately. Um, and we, we kind of went, well, hold on a minute. Why don't we put a buy button there? So that means that at any moment in any game, you know, even if it's not designed in, at any moment to any game, when they hit that high point, when something good is happening, it's all going well, or they just had a great moment, they can immediately click the buy button and purchase. So that idea of driving people to buy at the moment they're most impressed, I think is going to be very healthy. But there's one message which, you know, I've been meeting with a bunch of publishers, and I kind of get a little frustrated for them because, you know, I've been in that next realm of what it's like to be 100% digital. Um, a claim ended up being bought, bought by um, Playdom, who then bought by Disney, but ultimately, you have to own your customers. You can't be giving them away. If you're... If you're going to go digital, if that's really your future, if, if you think your, your future is retail, it's not. It's digital. And if it's digital, you can't give anybody away. You cannot do it. It's going to kill your company. Because right? you're building these giants that are going to end up competing directly against you. They must, you must own the digital sales. And, and you know, I'm happy to come to any company and beat up the CEO on this stuff if they, if they argue with you that this is not a good idea. You have to own your customers, period. And so that's what we've been trying to work out is how can we help for the companies just moving digital now, um, how can we help them really get up to speed really fast? So we're building very advanced um, dashboards to help them understand their, their, their customer acquisition flow, moment to moment in real time worldwide. And secondly, um, we, we have them ask us any questions that they have. So I don't care what your question is. We have business intelligence people who will build custom reports that are emailed to you every morning to tell you worldwide, here's what's happening with your game. Here's what's happening with your demo. Here's how it's converting. Here's the fall off and, and all that kind of stuff. So basically, we started with those three ideas, you know, everyone, everywhere, driven to buy. And um, we actually ended up with, with eight. Um, that we managed to get the cost of acquisition down. 
We, um, we've made it easy. You don't need to build a custom demo anymore. So normally, when your dev team is stressed out, then someone walks in their office and says, please make us a demo. Uh, we need a demo right now uh, to, to get it out on the web. This is, this is bad because they, they have to make a compressed version of the game. Um, so it downloads quicker, and, and that's just pain the teams don't need. So the, the message here is we can take the full game. There's no, it's completely safe. It's on our servers. And, um, and all we do is serve the, um, the piece of the game that you want people to experience. It's secure. There's no piracy or hacking possible anymore, um, which is very, very important, especially when you're letting out early code. Um, it's shareable. So what we did is we put in um, a tweet system so you can tweet out links to the game. Our vision for this is very simple. 9 o'clock in the morning, a new MMO comes out. 9.01, I'm the first of my friends to discover it. 9.02, they, I've tweeted it out, I'm in, it's here, it's live, join me. And with one single click, they don't even need to know what company made this game, they get no forms to fill out. One single click, they beam in like in Star Trek around me because we know what server instance you're on, we know the coordinates you're at. We can literally have, even if I'm running across the world, I can have my friends beam in around me so that we can all have a shared experience immediately. And so that idea of making the game incredibly shareable, putting it into Facebook and just letting it be shared inside Facebook so you don't have to leave is also very important. So how much does it cost? Well, first of all, I want 100% of publishers to do this. And so the easiest way to do that is not to take any of their money. So we, they keep 100% of their sales. We don't ask for any of it. And they own all their players. So we don't want any of your players. Um, and we do insist that the demos are free uh, because we want to be a part of making things grow really wide. And if there's any friction for the users, that's not OK. So demos are free to the gamers. And we simply sell server time. Think of us like a Verizon or something like that. We sell minutes. And people can buy minutes. And you can get creative. As marketing people, you can get creative with those minutes. What do you want to do with them? Um, and I'll, I'll give you a few ideas. But, um, but that's, that's basically the way it works. Very simple. When you get into digital and you get into this acquisition of players, you'll find very quickly everything you ask people to do on the internet, they generally don't do. So if I say, play 20 minutes, they won't. They'll, they'll take a look. But a lot of people are going to leave after one or two minutes. They'll pop in. They'll take a look. Meh, it's one of those. It's a, I don't like that kind of game. And they'll bail. So how can we bring the cost of acquisition for a failed person as low as it can be? And what we do is by charging for minutes, it means if they only play for two minutes, the total failed acquisition cost is just two cents. And, and, that, and that's it. There's no click cost. There's no move cost. There's nothing else. It's two cents for that player. And um, if you think about a Google click, it's 50 cents to a dollar based on targeting. You don't get the money back. If the person bounces, you're done. And um, in, in this situation, we think we can get it a lot less. We announced that E3 Electronic Arts has signed up with us. They didn't just sign up with us a little bit. Electronic Arts gave us all of their key franchises for now and going forward. So I have FIFA 2011, 2012, 2013. I got Medal of Honor. I have all the top EA titles committed to the service, and they've prepaid us. Um, so I can immediately launch on retailer sites today. And um, they also licensed our tech so they can start building games specifically for Gaikai. We originally were thinking we were going to try and start small and grow and all the rest of it. But with the investment we have now, um, and the partners that we have, the amount of traffic we're getting, and, and from some of the other people we haven't announced yet, there's so much data and so many people available that we're going to end up with countless millions. Um, my target is to get to 300 million minutes of inventory a month that we will be selling um, for people to be able to play. And we will just increase um, from there. But that's basically where we're going to be starting. So this is really our, our position. For every single cent you spend marketing with us, someone will actually be experiencing your products. There's no, they drove past on the freeway and maybe they saw the sign and maybe they'll get home and maybe they'll remember the URL and maybe they'll register and download and install and go get Steam and everything else. Every single cent, because there's no click cost, every single cent someone will actually be experiencing your game. Anyway, I hope you like the idea. That's what we're working on. Um, we're probably about 60 days from launch. And as I say, we can get accounts for anybody that would like to check it out. So thank you. The wall between video game marketers and consumers has crumbled.